I've come to realize a bunch of different things, and I want to say it a certain way, is that since my experience, like, I don't just see myself as a human being. I see myself, and I see everything as one thing. And to walk around saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, I know it's too much. But it's just, I accept everything the way it is, and I just respond to situations the way they present themselves to me. And I try to project it the way I want it to be, of course. If I, I try to be positive to people, but I guess I sort of give up on people as soon as I get there when I feel their negative energy these, these days, so I don't want to push myself on them. But the more I stay to myself, the better I feel because I want to stay around positive company. And, and lately, you know, my, my parents have been positive most of the time. My children are, are very positive. I'm not saying they're, they're not positive. It's just that they're not as motivated as me. They're just, you know, they don't have the, the desire to save the world or, you know. And I really do have this, the experience. I feel that I've, I, I have witnessed what, it, what the greatness is that explains the universe. And that's a hard thing to explain because, you know, I see all these things in India of gurus who talk about, you know, the universe and they talk and they, their speeches are beautiful. I love them. Actually, I want to go to India. But that's, you know, I got to come up with the money to do that. And, and, and I have to find the ability to do that. And I will. I actually, I really, I'm really planning on doing that very soon. But, you know, that's not happening right away. So I, I see some of these things and I get inspired by it, you know, but I don't, you know, take anything too deeply. And I'm not going to just become Hindu. You know, I do feel bad when I eat meat because I do realize that I've been them before, but I almost feel like I'm honoring them by eating them now. Because if I don't, eat them, they're being wasted. But at the same time, I don't want to work towards eating a healthier diet. So I don't want to eat too much of it. But I respect it when I eat it. You know what I mean? It's like I don't, I understand the whole process of it because I have been everything. That's the weirdest thing is I've I felt the feeling that I've been everything. So therefore, I understand what it means that everything is one. <clears throat> because you get that experience. And see, I, I've tried to look up what, what happened to me, you know, and I, I find kundalini experiences and they, you know, they say, you know, you touch God or, you know, each religion says it's a certain thing and each, you know, cult says it's a certain thing and each, you know, every different person would have a different explanation of what happens to them, you know. And I, of course, feel like mine was like this big, unique thing. And it was because everyone has their big, unique thing. If, I mean, some people's things aren't big, even to them. You know, some people just like, well, I've just been sort of bored all the time, you know. So it's like, so you look at your life the way you look at it. Sometimes your life happens to you. Maybe it's just because you're so creative. It happens to you more and more. And you find out that God is ultimate creation. And everything is creation. So every way, the way you are thinking is your you know, closest attachment to God. So if you start thinking, and I'm saying God is just, you know, the word, the, you know, the great, you know, omnipotent divine, you know, but it's like God, it's, it, it, I'm not going to use the word too, many, too much more. You know, I'd say your attachment to that thing is your imagination, your creativity, what you're doing with your life. You know, you could give back and try to make things better, or you could just coast through and do what you're doing all the time. So, with all that being said, you know, I've been realizing that even though I've had these kundalini experiences where my body lights up and I've left my body and I feel like I've been everything, that's still not even anything because that's just my experience of it. Every person has their own. So, you know, I just, I want to share this with people just as, as though many people want to share theirs with people. But the, I mean, I look around me and I see that a lot of people especially my age and like within 10 years down and most of the years above my age have lost the drive to, you know, excel. I'm not saying everybody because I see a lot of people that have drive and they haven't lost their, their passion for what they're doing. But it's like the, the ability to, to even want to meet new people and to, to work together on something. Like, I mean, me, I, I look but I, and I put stuff on Facebook saying, hey, you know, Anybody who wants to do anything, like, I'm into really everything. And I'm not trying to just sound stupid, but I'll do anything. Like, I, I want to experience life to its fullest, every single thing. Like, I don't think, you know, you know, and I say this just as an example, like, sex with every woman wouldn't be a problem to me. And I'm just not gay, so I don't want to do anything with men. In this, this lifetime, it's just, I don't feel that 
need, you know, and I've been there and I've had sex with, I've, I've been there and I've experienced it in my mind. It's the weirdest thing to explain. And I've done everything, every crime, every, you know, great deed succeeded and failed and died and been massacred, you know, all these different kind of things. And I've, I've experienced oneness of situations like a war, but the whole war and all those things were me experiencing those things at once, you know, like at, at first when this thing hit me, it was like, bam, and I was just off in some crazy universe where I can't even explain how intense it is. So, you know, and it, just trying to explain that and then coming back to being the bread man, you know, that's this human experience. And I have the, uh, you know, I have the choice to either embrace that and get stressed out about having bills to pay and worrying that I owe this guy that or this guy owes me this or this guy's taking me to court for some bullshit and he's trying to rip me off. And I'm just a nice guy and I'm not mad at him about it, but I don't, I'm not going to just let myself get pushed over. It's like this feeling of, I do love everything and I do want the universe to be one, you know, but if people are mean to you, are you just supposed to be like, that's fine. Just be mean to me or just, you know, you avoid them. Of course. I just sort of avoid people, but that makes a person be standoffish enough to avoid people in the first place so that they don't, they don't have to see whether or not they're like that because these days people just avoid contact. And I'm not saying... I mean, maybe it's just my area because people say this area sucks, but it's almost everywhere I go and everywhere I look and everywhere I try to talk to. If it's not like pop culture and something vulgar, grotesque, rude, uh, you know, or it's one extreme or the other. And then it's like, go green, vegan, uh, be kind to bugs, which, dude, I am kind. I love them. I love everything because I, you know, I've experienced that experience. But the people who haven't, I'm not going to label them a certain way because they're on that level. And I'm not saying I'm a level above them or a level below them, but there are different levels, you know. People do different things. There's a manager. There's a, you know, a employee. There's a homeless guy. You know, there's it's that, that level of idea is the level of consciousness that people have. You know, I'm on the level of like the CEOs, I guess, because... And I'm not trying to sound conceited. I just know that I've been where I've been and I've done what I've done. Some people can just say that they know they haven't really done much in their life. I'm telling you that I've done a lot. So does that make me a, an asshole for being that way? No, at all, not at all. I love you. So whether you like me or not, I'm just being as honest as I possibly can. And that's what sucks is I have to not be honest with people because it sounds crazy. And I can't just sit around and not sound crazy. Like yesterday, I came up with this awesome, crazy breath routine that made me feel like I was totally in control of my nervous system and my spirit and I felt at one with everything and I was like oh my god I can feel my heart beating as fast as I wanted to I can feel this the pains in my arms and legs and I like focus them and turn them down like a volume dial and I, I feel like I can show this to people but you know it happened one time so I was going to do it later when I got home with my mom but then when I got there I felt stupid because I go back to being human version Dan Alexander and not the spiritual entity that I am, even though we're all these things at one time. So doing any of these things, lucid dreaming, astral projecting, sitting on the moon and looking at, like I, I've sat on the sun. I, I, my creativity and my I, my imagination is so much that I can just go anywhere and do anything in my mind. You know, so it's like by being able to do that, you can do anything. <clears throat> and it's so visual and so whatever. It, it, I feel that joy whenever I'm by myself. And when I'm by myself and I can break away from that, because it's not like I can just flip over to it anymore. Like at first I was so in that at that moment, but then I, I try to not be too in La La Land and try to grasp being Dan Alexander and people have these experiences. They, they, I think they would know what I mean. Like you, you go off into what we would call La La Land. Like you're not your identity anymore. And I guess you have to be your identity, but you accept that and you realize that you're more than that. And then you just accept it and be humble. Why? And then we go back to just being normal people and, watching everybody complain about things and knowing that you can help, but then you give up on helping because people don't want it. That doesn't make sense to me. So I can't do that. I hope this speech makes sense because it's coming from my heart and I make sure that I don't just ramble anymore because I want to make sure that I make sense and I don't just, I'm not just one of those people that comes up with content and content and content and content. It doesn't matter if the content means nothing, if it's repeating the same shit over and over. What I'm trying to say is that all these people that are experiencing these things, like there's uh, Nithinyana Para, I mean, I, dude, I don't know his, honestly, I can't say his name. I don't know his name, but I think he's awesome. Like, I love him. Like, I, I sort of want to go there and just be in his presence because when I watch his videos, I feel that he understands something that I understand, but maybe because I don't talk Hindu and 
don't eat meat and I, I drink alcohol and I'll smoke weed and stuff like that. I, maybe it makes me seem like a bad person, but I believe I'm at one with all those things. And those are all just different expressions of what we've created and that I can heal my body of whatever they do to me. I believe that in my body and soul that no matter what happens to me, I can heal that. So like maybe these guys can levitate and whatever. I've seen myself do it, but I can't do it in a physical form yet. So I understand it, but I don't know how to get to that level. Maybe it's because of the toxins in my body, but I don't care about those superpowers because I understand the spirituality of it. Like, like there's like being able to like transport and teleport and go back in time and being able to have my creativity and feel like I can fly through space and shit. Like if I, whatever I try to do, like my mind can start wandering so much that I can concentrate on what I'm doing. But then while I'm concentrating on the certain details, like the random details just produce themselves. Like I'm, I'm the main character in the movie and everything is just moving around without me. Just like you're living in your conscious day right now, you go to a different place and the things around you are just happening, but it's all in your mind. But that's what makes you realize that the world is itself is an illusion because it's you doing your own thing, thinking that you're living your life and these things are going on for you. But the only person that you're affecting by your actions are you. Not even your family, not even your friends. You know, they see you for the time they see you. And after that, they're off in their own la-la land. They just don't call it that because they're playing their human role only. We have so many roles. Like like I was saying that, I think, I wish I could say his name because he's really awesome. Nithinanda Paramiana or something like that. He's really awesome. Uh, they call him uh, Swami G. I, I, think I watch him every day, actually. And uh, his meditations are amazing. Like, I, I go off into spirituality, but I, I've sort of been trying so hard. I haven't been able to do what I've been able to do with the spiritual stuff because I've realized that that doesn't make that much of a difference because I still have to be what I am to everybody else. I can't show it to anyone if they don't want to see it. So it's that weird, you know, willpower is a bitch. <laughs> I mean, you understand that you are God. So I'm God, you're God, and we're all that. And I'm not trying to sound stupid. We all are. There's nothing better than anything else. Donald Trump's not better than me. Americans aren't better than any other country. So I see all these things about, you know, go veterans and all this kind of stuff. And dude, I love everybody for what they are, but I don't love the idea. And I don't love the fact that those people play the characters that are willing to fight against, dispute with, debate with people that are negative. The people that are negative, leave them alone and ignore them. And after enough time, you ignore people and you just show love, 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 love. You will not be negative to us. The people that are holding people down, you, you just say, we love you, man. Like, what are they going to do? Just keep blowing people away that love them unconditionally? No. They're going to try to work together to make things happen because deep down our spirits will connect if you show enough love. I hope that makes sense because I think my, my time on this phone is running out because I downloaded a bunch of apps today and my battery space is running out. Um, and I left my green bag with all my other phones. And I have no alarms besides this phone, so I better charge it and set it. So, damn. Uh, Basically, what I'm saying is all these experiences, no matter how many, you can have a billion different experiences of all the different personalities. Like, I felt like I've been everything, but I still realized that that's not even any of it because every person, say, imagine I felt like I've been everything. The next person next to me could feel like they've been everything in one thing, you know, and, and, so, and from their perspective, that makes it another thing from their perspective. So I can't be everything. I can't be you from your perspective. So I feel like I've been everything except for everything's expect, perspective of, of itself, which makes it such an infinite mind-blowing thing that no matter what your abilities are, no matter what kundalini ability you touch, and you can fly, and this guy's, you know, Nithinyanda, like uh, Swamiji, he's amazing, and like everyone looks up to him, but he's just another, you know, he, I'm not saying just another, I mean, he is awesome, he has his meaning in the world, and he's going to, he's affecting people in a way that other people don't, that's what makes him special. When you affect people in a way that's helping, and what do you mean helping? Well, if you're showing love and, and giving people the ability to to have hope and, and dreams for more, how can you call it a cult? He's giving people hope for love and life and ability to heal. I mean, there is nothing, 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 nothing wrong with that. And, and the, the idea is to, to eat super healthy and be, be loving to all creatures of the universe. That, that's, you cannot find harm in that. So those people are idols. So <clears throat> whether people believe or follow religions or whatever they call it religions, because now he's saying your religion is Hindu. And like, I really, really followed him until he started saying, you are rich because you are Hindu. And I'm like, well, now I got to stop eating meat completely. Well, I like the taste of it. It's not that I disrespect the animal, but I feel like throwing it away and letting it go to waste now is whatever. But I will still cut back and I, would, I don't 
I, I feel it sometimes when I do it. So I really want to cut back. And I do want to stop. But when it's around, I'm not going to dismiss it and be like, I can't eat the food with you guys because it's just against my religion. It's not against my religion. I am an expression of what I am. And I'm made up of meats, proteins. I want to eat more vegetables because they communicate with your, they help your system purify itself more. But I'm not going to limit myself to no meat because I do want to have muscle and I do want to, you know, you know, have the ability to generate skin material faster. I believe that your skin material would, you know, build faster from, you know, meat and protein in that form other than other forms. Until I study and learn more about it myself, I mean, I just feel it that way sometimes. So, you know, I'm not going to go overboard because I do understand the difference of fat and muscle and, you know, protein and, and, and you know, fats. So, anyway... I mean, I know a lot more than I talk about because I'm just, you know, everyone sees me as like sometimes rocker dance, sometimes old school rapper. When people see me, they don't even know me as who I am anymore. If I talk to people in my life, I don't talk about music right away. I talk about my spirituality first. And I don't mean to. It's just the way it is now. It's the way it's always been, but now I realize it. I mean, that's the way it is for everybody. But they don't realize it. They're just a spiritual thing in this flesh body walking around, calling themselves their name, thinking that's all they are. But then once you have this different abilities, you know that you're more than that. But all those abilities aren't anything because there's so much more. So Kundalini experience can't be the highest experience because that's just one person's version of it. And like Swami G's experience of being the avatar is only his experience of being the avatar. So somebody else could be like, well, it makes sense. So I feel like I could be the avatar. And maybe people don't come to me and swarm around me. But I feel like I could heal people and help them like that. But not in a negative way against him, alongside him. But then I feel like... Who am I to say that I should be that worthy? Everybody should be that worthy. Everybody should be idolized like him. And turn around and love yourself as much as you love your idols. You know, I love myself as much as I love him. You know, I love all people as much as I love, you know, and I love myself more because I'm my expression of me. So I need to take care of myself. So that means I show more love towards myself. It doesn't mean I emotionally love myself more, but I do because I'm here with my presence at all times. You know what I mean? So that makes sense. Anyway. I only have a little bit of time and I don't want it to cut off. So I love you guys. And I think somehow I'm going to find a way to put this out because this is an important one. I really like it. And I may have rambled at times, but maybe I'll edit it just so it, for, you know, for the ability of people who don't want to sit and listen to something when the rambles in it. So anyway, love you. Peace. Dan Alexander and all those other things. I'm one with all and you are one with me. If you understand what I'm saying, holla holla. Yeah. <laughs> just playing around. Peace.